welcome to the third part of the this vs code and after the installing the vs code this is this is the third part of the tutorial 00 and we will go to connect the vs code to wsl for that nothing is required just uh, we have to install some extension file okay From go here, you can type Control Shift X. It will show your extension. So first, uh, we will install the. We are going to for WSL. So we will type WSL here. The first one you will come. You have to click. Uh, I have installed here. Let me uninstall it. now installing it for you it is installed now here if you see remote window of in the corner left bottom corner you will see remote these two arrow these two arrow will be your click here it will ask connect to wsl we will connect wsl Now starting VS Code in WSL Windows, starting Linux subsystem. Now, when you connect, it will show you like this WSL Ubuntu here. Now, come to the extension here. In WSL Ubuntu, you have to install C, C, C. Type C here. Install in WSL Ubuntu. You let after that you have to type code runner. So this dot run will file will come and you have to click and install here. And installing. Now we will make first workspace for us. Before then that, let me create a folder for create. Just click here and terminal and this. If you want to know the shortcut for the terminal, control shift, then just down below button before the one, click that. You will create new password. So I will make one directory here. First, let me check how many directories there. No directories there. MKDIR C plus plus let it tut underscore C plus plus. Okay. Now directory has been created. LS list. Now open this. You will see here tut. Okay. Yes, I trust this author. Whenever we try start C++, we just type hello word. So we let's I type hello word here. Hello dot cpp hash include 
higher string int main std colon colon c out hello world slash n or or you can use std colon colon indel return zero your program has been made now control shift before the button before the one now i want to compile this for that g plus plus is our compiler type g plus plus minus o for the what file what i want to give the name of the file for execution file type hello or anything name like name only i have to have now which computer file we want to compile so here's hello.cpp type h hello there is a shortcut you can type tab also it will ask it will show you the directly that file okay enter now file has been installed means compiled you will see here see here name here to execute that dot slash name enter hello world let me type one more thing control d control d will copy the line and paste below welcome to and you to channel if we want to comp compile like g++ minus o let me give you this line hello hello.cpp now hello file has been created here type hello hello world welcome to my youtube channel so today's will tutorial has been completed thank you very much tomorrow i will teach you the little bit about the for loop and function and classes thank you Oops.